When learning how to draw your portrait, the first thing you want to take into consideration is the actual shape of your head. When we were little, we sometimes drew our heads like circles or ovals. And although ovals are pretty close, your head is actually egg-shaped. It's more egg-shaped. So it's wider on the top and narrower on the bottom, like where your chin is. So when we start to draw our portraits, you want to begin that process by drawing a really wide rainbow arch at the top of your paper. And then flip your paper around. Draw a narrow rainbow beneath that. And this will be your chin. Then once right side up, you can gently connect the two. Adjust as needed. Now when I draw my portrait, uh, I'll be looking in a mirror so I can see what my head looks like. And you want to do the same so you can see what your head looks like. Now that I have my basic egg, egg shape sketched in, I need to start dividing up this shape so I know where to put all my facial features. And the first part of dividing that is right down the middle. And when I make these division lines, I want to do them very lightly because I'm going to erase them later. I don't want my final portrait to have lines all over it like a goalie mask. So I divide it in half. Then I'm going to divide this shape in half and from here to here in half and one more time. All right, and these lines are going to help me figure out where to put my facial features. This first line that we drew is actually our eyebrow. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of information to help me draw my eyebrow later. I'm not going to waste time coloring in or shading in my eyebrow all the way because I'm going to use colors for that later. I just need some information. Now when I look in the mirror, I'm ready to draw my eyes. And your eyes are, actually a lot of fruit is involved in drawing your eyes. Starting with your lemon shape. And everyone's lemon's a little bit different, so you want to be looking in the mirror and drawing your lemon. Then we're going to have a banana for our eyelid. And again, everyone's banana's a little bit different. And we're going to finish off with drawing our apple, and that is our iris, okay? Now we have our eyes basically sketched in. We're ready to start working on our nose. And when you do your nose, you shouldn't really be drawing your nose um, like maybe you did in the past where it was as if your head was tilted back and you had a little piggy nose, unless you are drawing someone with their head tilted back. Otherwise, a straight on portrait, you'll just see the outline of their nostril. And um, a good tip, if you have an imaginary line from your eye going down, that's about how wide your nostrils generally are. I'll erase that because I don't want that there. Next I can start working on my mouth. And when I draw my mouth, the first part is going to be that line where my two lips meet. And I'm going to look in the mirror and draw my line the way I see it. And my kind of tips down in the corner a little bit. I'm not sad, that's just the way my lips meet. And then I'm going to put in the bottom line for the bottom of my lip. I don't want to connect it all the way because mine doesn't really connect. It just changes color a little bit. And then I have a very tiny top lip, but you want to see what your lips looks like in the mirror. So you're drawing your face, not mine. Some other things we can do with our guidelines are to put in our ears. So if you hold your ears and you move your hands closer to your face, you'll see that they kind of line up with your eyes and your nose. So that's a good uh, marker that you can use your lines with to draw in where your ears should be. And again, everyone's ears are a little bit different. So maybe your ears stick out, maybe yours are very close to your head, maybe you have really tiny ears or really big ears. Um, you want to draw the way you, you have your ears on your body, okay? Now that I have my ears in, um, take a look at my giant alien forehead. Isn't that awesome? I'm not actually an alien. 
Uh, if you look at your neighbor, if you look at someone nearby or look in your mirror, you'll see that you really do see most of the top of the head of somebody when you're looking straight at them. You don't actually just see a tiny part of their hair like perhaps in the past when we drew our friends or ourselves, we did something along the lines of that. Well, unless, again, their head is tilted back, you really do see most of the top of their head. So I'm gonna look in the mirror and see where my hair falls. And that's where I'm going to sketch in just a little bit of information for now. I'm having kind of a crazy hair day. I just wanna get the general flow of where my hair is going. And again, when I do the color portion, I'll be able to um, really add the value in that. I have a part sort of down the side today. My hair is behind my ears. Okay. Now I don't just want a floaty head, so I'm going to also put in my neck. And if you feel your neck and you kind of bring your hands up, you'll see that your neck lines up or comes very close to your ears. So when you put in your neck, you want to have it go somewhere around there. No one should have a little stick neck like that. That's odd. Okay? And depending on how big you do your portrait, you might start to see your shoulders in your picture. So you want to do a swoop down and put in your shoulder information so your neck doesn't go on forever. After you have the general sketch of your face, if you're going to finish in pencil or finish in color, that would be where you would go in, erase your guidelines so they don't show up. And you can start to add in some shadow work, greater detail, maybe tweak the size of your facial features. Um, if your nose should be lower, if your mouth should be higher, if your eye is bigger, um, whatever you need to do, do that before you go on to your next stage.